Design Studio is really our capstone experience for those students. And when I mean capstone, it's not teaching them directly new technical skills. I'm not teaching them how to code or how to do accounting or how to read a balance sheet. I'm trying to say, can you take everything that you've learned in your college career here in the Rake School and put that together and execute on it? Can you deliver? Can you take these things you've learned and show me that you can do the whole thing together? And we do that through this unique private-public partnership with our design studio sponsoring organizations. strategy actually that goes on behind the scenes as for who you're going to pick at what time. So we were originally planning on choosing some of the honor students first so we could like nab them up because we had our rake students locked down. We knew who we wanted. Uh, the way that we do this matchmaking between projects and students is complicated because it's not an easy problem to solve. There's a lot of optimization here to make sure that we get the right talent on the right project because we want to maximize those outcomes. And then finally the draft comes where we're able to actually see that matchmaking take place, see those students um, wrestling with these tough decisions of do I accept this project, do I accept this project, where do I both fit in both in terms of team dynamics and, and figuring out who you want to work with, but also figuring out what you want to work on. The draft went really well. Um, honestly, I thought it went so well for us. The number one thing we, I want to achieve this year is to provide a lot of value to Spreetail in their um, warehouse. I interned for them last summer, and I've got a really strong connection with the company. I, I really think that we can make a difference in the lives of their customers and in their business and make it easier for their employees and whatnot. Um, it's so open-ended, so it's really on us to either make this project or let it flop. Number two, also really want my team, like our team, to have fun while we're doing it in the process. So I think that's going to be a big goal for us as well. I'm the squad lead for the Microsoft Redmond project and also the product manager. So the Microsoft Redmond project is focusing on building tutorials for people interested in learning .NET Core, um, specifically Entity Framework. Um, so we'll be focusing on kind of the infrastructure and how to actually run Entity Framework on the browser as well as building that tutorial. Gary Liu. I am a computer science major and I'm a developer on the Flywheel team. So the Flywheel project is really kind of design focused. We're really focused on like the front end, like how websites look, We're trying to help designers and their clients kind of communicate better so they can get better feedback. And I was really attracted to the project because I am like really interested in design and like web design. I think it's a really cool area. So it was an opportunity to get some experience. We are working with the Water for Food to essentially build them an online database. Uh, they've spent about 15 years collecting agricultural data all over the Midwest, about 10 states, and they don't really have a great way to really break that data down, analyze it. The moral of the story is, you know, the population is getting a lot larger, we're going to have less and less space, we're going to need more and more food, and we're not currently utilizing our resources smartly. So how can we build a tool that allows them to educate farmers on where they're not smartly using those resources, whether that's water or nitrogen use or things like that, um, and then show them ways they can kind of cut back and, and influence their bottom line, but at the same time, save all of us and the environment too, so. This year, we're gonna be building some tools to help analyze soybean data that they've been gathering for the past 10 years. They have a pretty large amount of data, but right now they're really not able to use it at all. So we're gonna be building a system that allows uh, 
three different kinds of users, farmers, uh, natural resource managers, and academic researchers to enter data into the system as well as um, run queries and do different analytics on it. Retail Design Studio team, this year we gave them a very, I guess, unique project. We kind of gave them a, a it was very open-ended this time. So what we said was, hey guys, here's some, some issues that we're having in our warehouse. Here's the data set that we have. Can we find some way to kind of merge those two together and, and find a solution to this problem? And what they ended up doing was coming up with a, with a system to utilize a lot of the data that we already have in order to figure out just a lot of stats around who's shipping well, who's not shipping so well. And that'll in the end kind of help us to manage the performance in our warehouse, make sure that our customers are getting the right products on time. I think one reason why I'm passionate, and I know the rest of the team is passionate about it, is that fact that we have so much ownership of the project that we're going to work on. Um, the, the fact that we spent a whole release just figuring out what, picking between ideas, and now we're spending the first half of this release figuring out with the idea that's been picked, what are we going to build? What are the what are the key features and stuff? We're still designing that stuff. We didn't even think this would be happening at this point. We thought they were going to tell us exactly what they wanted, but they're telling us to run with it. And so now the meeting is actually going to help a lot with kind of validating the features we've been talking amongst ourselves about. Our team dynamic is pretty great so far. Uh, we have not gone into much uh, in-depth coding yet, but I feel like all of our personalities mesh together well. Um, some of us already know each other, um, so there's not a lot of uh, those barriers, and we seem to get along extremely well. So I'm looking forward to how the project will go. The dynamic between us and, and the DS team is very open. Um, I feel like we have a very good relationship with them, with, and they're really just able to ask us questions and ask for help at any time through Slack or email or just when we have our meetings, just, hey, just rapid fire question after question. And I, I feel like that dynamic there is, is very beneficial to all of us. Team dynamic is fun. I, I worked with Ashlyn, who is our development manager, all last year on our project together, um, and really enjoyed working with her and the dynamic that we had. So I decided to work with her again this year, uh, and then was able to draft you know people that we thought were, at the same time as skilled, very fun to work with. That's a big part of it too, so. So a release meeting is when basically you need to deliver something to the client. So that can be a number of different things. Uh, in Design Studio, most of the time release meetings involve pitching like some sort of software. So it's a prototype or not really pitching, but just like actually showing some sort of software. Uh, our f first release meeting um, went extremely well. We were kind of brainstorming and planning what we could potentially do to improve retail's warehouses. Um, so we presented three different options for them to look through. And we thought all three of our options were very well researched and very well formulated. And the clients, as well as the design studio administration, uh, really liked it. So it went really well. Our first couple of release meetings have gone pretty well. Uh, our sponsor, Flywheel, has liked what we've done so far. Uh, they've given us some feedback, we have some things to work on, but we're trying to hash them out, so. Uh, they really liked it, they liked the three ideas we pitched. They, uh, one of them was pretty out there, it was a very high level concept, we didn't have as much time as we wanted to work yeah. on that. They had two that they really liked out of the three we did, and we gotta kinda help pick which one we were gonna work on, so. So the showcase is what we're building to the whole year in Design Studio. The showcase is primarily that opportunity for students to show off the work that they've been doing for nine months. It's a real energy-filled dynamic over there at Innovation Campus. You're in a cool space and talking about these cool things that the students have been working on. So the showcase is the event at the end of Design Studio, so after two semesters of work, Everyone comes together, all the design studio and senior design teams, as well as the Rake School Board, um, parents of anyone involved who wants to come, all the Rake School students, uh, sponsors and uh, coaches of other companies in the area, um, all come together to, you know, kind of see what people have been working on. Learning how to work with um, 
um, clients and build for a user who I might not really understand. I worked on a banking project last year. Um, I didn't know anything about banking or finance. I worked on an agricultural product this year and know very, very little about agriculture, either from the um, producer's side or from the academic side. And we had to learn really quickly and learn how to empathize with those users to build a product that's actually going to be valuable for them. Showcase went amazing, in my opinion. Um, we were the Platinum Project, so we got to present in the large room filled with everybody, the Rakes board, all the different teams, all the parents, um, all the Rakes students. So that was a bit of high pressure, but I feel like we did a good job of conveying what our project was and how it was helpful to Spreetail. It's all about a learning experience, and I had to tell my team that a few times, or didn't have to, but I reinforced that a few times, like, hey, you're not supposed to know all this stuff. It's a, it's a learning experience, and so I think it's really cool how as a team you're able to um, come together and learn things together and accomplish something and I think the aspect of doing it for companies in the area in Lincoln and Omaha and having an impact on companies that you or your peers will be going to is also um, a huge valuable asset it's really cool I think the biggest takeaway from design studio is the team aspect and how how you have to find the best way to work together there's a lot of give and take in that. There's a lot of people, I think everyone on our team at one point was responsible for something that they've never done before, whether that be a technology or um, you know, just like an aspect of uh, software development. It's a learning process. You're not gonna be perfect at it and there's going to be improvements to be made. Um, but I think everyone on the team did a really good job of saying, I'll take that responsibility and I'll run with it and ask questions when I need to. It was just kind of amazing to see how much we could get done when everyone was on the same page and willing to put in that work. The race school is a lot of hard work, but all of that work and especially Design Studio really pays off in kind of the experience that you get. You really get kind of an edge over other interns and other seniors in your field because you have this experience with building a real software project as well as, you know, in my experience, leading a real team and working with a real client. 